Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Zade Blade Escapades. Please smash that subscribe button if you want to subscribe to stay informed. Helps the channel and make sure you hit the like button if you like. And uh, make sure you also write a comment on this. So, I've just updated the new version, one, uh, four point, sorry, yeah, 4.A5. I came over here expecting to get some work done, realized, crap, I'm all out of food. Managed to finally get out. And then all of a sudden, the weirdest thing happened. It's the middle of the day, and I get attacked by squid in the middle of the day when I was right there. It's not deep water. It's not dark. The only difference was is I was starving. Now, I don't know what some of these changes are, but for whatever reason, they attacked me midday on land, and I made it, obviously. I'm barely hanging in there, as you can see my starvation is, well, my meat chunks, uh, right there, just about out. And every time I place a block and move, it's going smaller and smaller. Luckily and thankfully, I have all these blocks to get me across here. But the weirdest thing is they attacked me, and it took me ages to kill them. And because I wasn't underwater, not really, it was like right there, I wasn't dying from, oops. I wasn't dying from um, from being suffocated. I was dying from those things trying to attack me, which was really weird. I don't know where they came from or how it all happened, but for whatever reason, their aggro is very different to what I remember, and they just flat out attacked me in the daytime. So I decided that I'd record this. I just didn't have time when I was set there whacking the guys to start recording. It was just it was just completely out of the blue and I'm thinking why are these guys attacking me it's day anyway so if you're starving oh or dying oh this is gonna be fun make sure you um, have lots of this stuff oh wow I do apologize for you people who may be a bit squeamish this is probably gonna take me a while holy cow whoa Luckily, I've got plenty of this. Whoa. I don't know if I'm going to make it, guys. I may actually die here. I am walking very slowly. I don't have any sticks to stick into the ground. I have to uh, place every block to get to there. To get close enough to get something to eat. I don't know if it's actually in there that I have stuff to eat. I don't know. But thankfully, it's only half a tick of heart. And I... <laughs> Whoa, this is just crazy. Oh, I also hope you like the new intro. Um, I've been messing around with... Oh, here it goes. There it goes. There. Should have had a stick. <sighs> oh, where am I? Somewhere close. Um... Oh, crap. It's this place. It's the place that I always go when I don't want to go there that's far away from base camp. I may actually lose all my stuff. That sucks. I think I have to go through a... Yeah, I do. Ah! I have to skirt an entire jungle. Yay! Tell me it's beginning of the day. Yes, it is. I should have plenty of time to get there. But, ah, oh, anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed the intro. It sucks that I died. And, like... Again, I don't know what happened with the squid. I don't know if it's a bug in the new version or if it's an intended feature. Because squid never attacked you during the day. But now I'm wondering if they attack you when you're weak. And that would be a really cool addition to the game. That squid attack you when you're weak. He has been making changes to the boat. Maybe that's one of the changes, other changes he's made where they attack you when you're weak. Very cool concept, very cool idea. Sucked for me because I didn't know. Now I do. And uh, that would have been great to have known earlier. Oh, look. I think it looks like a cow attacked one of them. Yeah. See, that? I don't know. It uh, could have been at nighttime. Who knows? But yeah, so I don't know what's up with those guys. They're definitely acting slightly different. Um, and I probably wouldn't have been in such trouble and possibly died because I was hitting them and I was wasting a bunch of hunger doing so. 
Anyway, and if I hadn't fallen in that hole, I might have actually made it to the other side. So here's hoping I get there in time. So anyway, tell me what you think about the intro. It is a new intro. I'm playing around with actually having a channel intro, so I'm not creating a new intro for every video. It does help with one specific thing, and that is editing the videos. I don't have to constantly find new pictures to edit the video. I still will make these special thumbnails, but the thumbnails won't be the intro. It'll, I don't know, I think, it, I think it'll make it look good. Let me know what you think about this one in particular, because there's a few different options I can use, as well as the music. Um, Fatal Crusher has made me some music. Very cool. Um, I haven't used it in this because I was playing around in their pre-made music, but I could change the music to his. Um, so maybe that's one of the options. I know he'll probably comment down below saying, yeah, dude, use mine. I spent the time making it, use it. Um, but anyway, at the same time, I was actually creating a new intro. In my defense, I thought when he said, I'm creating a new intro for you, that he was actually creating like a new intro video, you know, like um, an intro intro, not a intro song so I started doing like intro uh, when he showed me the song I thought oh I, I should start doing a video so oh shoot is this the right way oh I don't I think it is I hope it is oh that would suck if this weren't the right way and I went the wrong way either way this I know I know exactly where I am this um this jungle is just between me and... No! This is a different jungle! Oh, no, no, okay, okay, yeah. Actually, my end portal's just over there. I should have swam in the opposite direction. My end portal is literally just over there, which has a portal to the, to the nether, which actually links straight to my other base. Shoot, okay, well, that would have been faster if I would have... If I would have known. Okay, so now I know every time I spawn there that actually I should try to surf over the ocean real quick to get to the other side because that's where that is now. All right, I know where I am now. That's good. Good for next time I die in that door. Ooh. Staying away from you. I don't have anything to fight you off with. I have a road over here. Once I get to that road, we're good. Okay, so at least we know where you are. I'll probably cut this out. Um, me getting there because obviously I know where I'm going now so there's no danger besides that venomous spider over there which hopefully will be gone and I have a direct connection straight to my base from here so no worries there all right guys I'll be right back as soon as I get back to my base we'll recover a few things to get us over to the other base and again I wasn't far from that base so as soon as I get in there It'll be good. So I, sh I should be able to get my stuff back. No problems this time. I'm not going to lose any diamond stuff this time. Unless, of course, there was lava where I felt, which I don't know. I couldn't jump. I was stuck in a hole. So anyway, guys, I'll be right back in a minute. All right, guys, uh, we're here mostly. Um, yeah, of course, I couldn't take that because it was there. My mining cart was there. Anyway, so it hasn't been long. I did get a few of my... See, I, I keep iron weapons for a reason. I already one already created them, and two, they're great to get out here with. And it is the end of the day, which is fine, which means it's been ten minutes, which means my gear should still be in this massive hole that I fell into. Yeah. Not cool. I was pretty sure I got all the holes, too. Which one was it? Was it this one? Yep. But look how nice it was. It left all of my stuff here. Did I pick it all up? I think I did. I think I did. I don't see anything else down here, so I think that's it. So, uh, crisis averted. I did get all of my stuff back. Thankfully, it was a bit annoying. Oh, wow. It just all done crashed. <laughs> so this is what I don't like. I don't like it when, when it does that to the water. Okay, so what began as an episode of me trying to get my spider spawner up and running with all the cool special gear I had. I didn't just have my, 
my diamond tools here. No, 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 no. I also had gold on me. I had lots of special bits on me. And... Ah, oh, okay. I did get rid of the two... Um... Yeah, I'm hungry again. I did get rid of the two saws, so that's fine. I did get them out in time. And my tree farm. Yay. Oh, not using the iron. Using this. There we go. I think I've already also got another iron set here that I've gotten from the uh, butcher or something like that. So that's good as well. This doesn't look so grand now that I have this massive Romanesque Colosseum type. No, not Colosseum, but Romanesque building. This doesn't look so nice anymore. Um, oh yeah, and look, the dormant soul forge is in. Um, looks gold. I'm guessing it's just a whole bunch of gold. So I'm guessing finding them and melting them down is going to give you a bunch of gold too. So it gives you more than one reason to find them. One, you can make soul forges out of them. Two, you get probably a metric butt ton of gold. Literally. You can quote me on that one. I think that's what it does. Oh, look, I've got lots of these already. And I've got some of these already. Uh, oh, I was going to set my windmill up here. That's right. All right, so where is the... Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to place all of this stuff here that should probably... I should probably bring this stuff back to my base so I can do that again. But knowing that I have this here, the second I get to this base, it should be fine. Um, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to have to wait for morning now, unfortunately. Because I had the perfect setup, it's just now I can't do it. And I should actually melt this. Melt it. Hold on, is the priest offering me diamond pick upgrade? He's offering me diamond boots and an iron sword and flipping brown candles. Alright, so I'll melt that. Anyway, guys, I'll be right back as soon as it's morning time so we can f get working on our uh, spider spawner. Our jungle spider spawner. Be right back. Alright, guys, we've got this little Larry here set up with a rudimentary hopper. I don't think I'm going to be collecting so much stuff that this will be an issue to have more than just a hopper. Down below here is the little empty area that I was showing you before when we were making this. It is still very empty and it is still an area. <laughs> So, anyway, so this comes here, empties into there, good. We have two of these guys. Now, I want to power both of them from the back end, excuse me, only because, oh, I'm hungry, I've got to build up my fat. I want to power these from the back end only, for, only because I don't want things to accidentally fall out. I want everything to fall down and everything to get pushed into here. I hate losing stuff. Alright, so we have this also plopped there. And we'll have to move this over one. How does that work? I keep forgetting these. It's so difficult to build like a two-tier system. It'd be great if there were a way around this, but there's not. So, whatever. I have to do this really weird thing to get two together. Now, I might not need to. I just want to be on the safe side of them crawling up. That's what I'm concerned about. Okay, so we can build that. Oh, I know what I can do. Shoot, I can't do that here. Gotta extend it one. Okay, so move you out one, move you out one. Put you there, and then put you right here. And then what I do is I make this go down. Two. Oh, shoot. Oh, that hurt. Not cool, dude. Not cool. Yes, here's the little room. I cleared it out. Or li lit it up, I should say. At least there's this huge empty area below here that I can use to do stuff with. Okay, so there we go. Oh, shoot, but they're right next to each other. Hmm. Hold up. I might be able to do something. If I... If I put it here again... 
Oh, was that the issue? That was the issue. And I can't extend that one out another one. Did I lose any? No, I didn't. Okay. Ah, that's so annoying. Okay, so I was going to move this over one, but I can't because that's where the water flow goes. I can. I can, I can, I can. I can make the water flow go this direction instead. There we go. I can make the water flow come this way. Like that. That makes more sense. There we go. And I'll just... Um, I lost that. Whoops. Okay. And it actually goes one further, which is okay. Plop that there. Plop that there. That there. And that there. And then I'll just stick this one here. There we go. So now everything will come to here. And I could actually extend this one further. To have it there? I don't know if I want to. Yeah. I might as well, because then I could do more stuff with it at the bottom. Might as well come down here real quick and collect everything that's fallen. I have a few expensive things down here. Did I get both of them? I only got one. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Those, well, they're not expensive. I've, I'm actually <laughs> using them in, in my other bit. But doing this will allow me to push that closer by one without messing things up. Which is what I want to do. And that drops, of course, because I'm not close enough. And then I'll just put this here, and then this is kind of just like a viewing area. Watch it go in, pop it out there, and go down. Now this one I can break, and I can pop it right here. And now that means I have two in between each other, like that, and I can add two here. Sorry, yeah, two there, and I can have it powered somewhere else. So I just need to get water from somewhere. I'll probably get it from from the other part. Like, I, like I've done the, in, in builds in the past. I just need to set some things up in here real quick. Let me grab some of this. Okay. Let's go up here, like we want to do. Yeah. Ooh. I'll grab you. And then just take the extra blocks out so I can use them here. Alright. Oops. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah, okay. There. And what I'll do is I'll just um, throw this down here. For now, can I throw a chest on top of it? Does that work? Yeah, it does. See, yeah, I asked that because previously if you stick something on... And even so, if you stick a full block on top of this that can't see the sun, you can't actually work on it. So It's annoying, but it is cool, but it is annoying at the same time. Alright, so we have those. I need to make myself a few more. I didn't bring any redstone. I didn't bring any redstone. How annoying that is, not bringing redstone. Very annoying. Ooh, and it's pitch black outside. I got... Okay, yeah. Alright, so. Gonna have to wait on that, because it's pitch black outside. And I don't want to get killed. Alright, so. What can I do while I'm waiting? Hmm. I can pretend like the blocks are there. And... There's one. And there's one. And actually, I'll stick... The proper bits in between that. Now the question comes in, where's the power source? I assume the power source is going to be back over this way, because the water's coming in from here, and we want the water to power the water mill. So what I may do is come up here. There we go. And that shouldn't cause them to fall in there. Yeah, I think it's too big but it is messing up with the rest of this, so I've got to pull this over one at least. And I also need to get a water wheel. 
so that it doesn't miss anything else up either. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so... Whoa, whoa. Yeah, that was dumb. Do I have another? Alright, let's make a few... Well, I say a few. I've been playing a modded version of Minecraft recently, which hopefully you'll see the video of that soon. That new series. Um, it's it's based off the rant video. Not that I'm actually ranting. It's, it's based off that mod pack. Oh, shoot. I can't do that, can I? Are you a real spider or are you a pretend spider? Oh, you're a real spider. Didn't expect to see you in here. Alright, so let's pop it one more. Block that and then just move it. Oh crap, that's one. Crap, dang, son. They can't be populating where I think they're populating. Not yet, anyway. Oh, that, that thing's long gone. Okay, good, it made it. I've got to eat something, though, and I need to have these here. Come on, let me eat. Don't let me die, come on. Oh, good, it didn't let me die. I had a little bit of fat on me, enough to deal with the uh, issue at hand. Okay, so I need to dig this out here, and I... Man... I didn't realize those little boogers can uh, spawn in so fast, and I don't know where he came from. Obviously, from above, because I haven't cleared the area properly yet. It's my fault, being a being a dumbo, not doing what the parts I should be doing. All right, that should be good. Yeah, it all looks like it'll work just fine. Come down here. Ooh. Come down here. Hmm. Let's try this. I need to get it so that it's driving me in a direction. Shoot! Knock it off, will you guys? Dang, son. They just don't give it up. I mean, ooh. That's not cool. How did it... Uh, I know, because I stuck another... Did that do it? Hold on. That did it. Okay. Hopefully that works now. I'm hungry again. But hey, look. I got my first venom sack. I'll stick a few things in there. Actually, I need you. But I don't need you. Stick a few things in here just to get them out of my way. Alright, so we have the water coming through here, and I can go over I want with that, which is good. I have lots of the spiders dropping it on me. So, yeah, why not, right? <laughs> it's it's working right now, but obviously it's not a real spawner pad. That's, that's obvious. Because, yeah, it's just not really a spawner pad. They're not spawning off those pads, they're spawning off of the other areas. Which is why I've got to fix all that stuff. Alright, let's come out here again just to make sure. Come over here, and I still get stuck. Tell me what happens now. I come here, and I get stuck. Please don't come by again. I come here. I get pushed now. Okay, that's good. Problem is, it now ends early. Earlier than it did. And of course it falls down. Of course it falls down. I'm right next to it. If I'm That one didn't fall down. If I'm right next to it, just bloop into me. Alright, just bloop into me. Don't do any of this weird stuff for you. Pop out just too far from your reach. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. That's annoying. All right, so the power is going to be out this way. Actually, not very far. I could even power that one directly and just 
have that one shoot up into there. I wouldn't need any... Yeah, actually, I could do that. There it is. Literally, boom, boom. And I need to do th two above here. All the way over to here. Same there. Okay, and there's one more level. Oh, shoot. And then this comes down like this, and it'll move the paddle. Perfect. And so one will automatically be on, obviously, from that. I'll have to move everything around so it fits to that. There we go. You're going to be down, and you're going to... You're going to come out the other end so that I can grab it. There we go. All right, so just got to put the water wheel here, and that's all good to go. Now, what I also can do is divert some of this water so that everything pops into here. I don't think it's going to be that complicated, but I could do it so everything pops into here, shoots down into a chest. Obviously, this is pretty far away. I could do a. I could do a sign. Pop the sign there. Have it so that it's right here, so that it comes out and over. Right here. I could do that. Let's do that real quick. See how that would work. Pop a sign there. Everything. I'll oh, stop it. It's annoying. I got it that time. Alright, so we're going to put it here. Alright. Now really I should be using the half block variant. The siding, I should say, like this. To ensure that nothing gets taken out. I say not you. Everything should just come plop right into there. And this should be working just fine. It should be 100% ready to go. I just need to build two more of those, which means I need redstone. Oh, vanished. I just need redstone to do it. And then I have... Oh, not enough of those. I need two more. I could build more. What about that? Oh, that's fine. Okay. So we'll build two more of those just real quick. Or one more of those, I think I need... Boom. Yeah, so one there, one there. Everything else is covered. And then I can also put... Actually, let's build another two. Because what we'll do is we'll get the other bits ready to have this powered as well. So one there and one there. I see. So we have three of those, and then this will all be powered and ready to go. And is it daytime? Yes, it is. It is daytime. Okay. So I know that was a bit complicated, but now that we've got the basics set up, all I need to do is get a water wheel, if I haven't set one up already. Um, I don't know if I have. If I don't have, I don't know if I've made a water wheel already. But if I haven't, I need to make a water wheel, set it up in there, and also get... Um, what was the other thing I needed? Oh, redstone. Yep, get that redstone figured out. Alright. This is the way I was going until I, like, died. Should really build a road road. And I should probably make that out of, not cobblestone, but out of sandstone. I know I'm kind of running low on sandstone, but I can always take down some of those buildings. And I am going to start a new series based on the new version, because now, if I would have found this, there would be a huge-ass anvil full of iron waiting for me to pick up and I'm, I'm sure I found I don't I may have found a couple of those I don't know but oh excuse me it's a bit late here I, I could have found a couple of those already and abandoned and so forth so would have made a difference it really would have made a difference uh, when that happened so 
Oh, and we also need to get another brewing stance. We have one over on this side. And I might as well make these here, so we need, I think, three of them, if I'm correct, if I'm not mistaken. Boom. There, and, oh shoot, we only have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, and we need a water wheel. We only really have three to spare. Oh, we can melt that. Anything else we can melt? be great if we actually had a water wheel. Oh, also some news. I've been invited to a new server. Um, I will be playing on that server some of the time. Obviously, I ha I'm a part of another server as well, and I don't get to spend as much time as I'd like on there, because mostly when I'm on, no one else is on. Uh, which does make it a bit harder to, to do everything with, so... Yeah, I'd like to do more on that server. I just, time-wise, is crazy. I'm trying to do as much as I can for this channel. I've cut back a little bit, you may have noticed, because the YouTube changes kind of threw me for a loop, and it kind of took me to a little, not depression, but a little, yes, yeah, like, sort of like a depression. Not, not like I want to kill myself, but feeling down and feeling defeated and like, oh man, this is just so hard. So, it made me think, you know what, what am I producing? What's the content am I producing? What am I trying to accomplish in the content that I'm producing? And so I'm trying to refine what I'm doing. So I know there are a few less video there are a few there are less videos than there have been, but that's because I'm trying to see what's worth doing, what's not worth doing, and I'm trying to evaluate everything now. Because I want to grow the channel. I want this to be a full time thing. I want to do this as my work, that'd be great. Because then I wouldn't be staying up late hours of the night trying to get videos out for you guys. <laughs> That's just the nature of the beast right now. Oh, it's only two. I need eight. I might have to go kill some cows. Do I have some? I might have more. I could melt my shoes. I think I lost my pants, though. Oh, I've got a wooden mold. That's not what I want. I need a water wheel. Mm. I know I have one back at the other base. Um, but I don't really want to use it. And I could melt books, but I really don't want to melt books either. Because I kind of need them. Yeah, there's really... Nothing other than going out and finding some cows quick and killing them before the night ends. And finding cows here is going to be a lot harder just due to the fact that there aren't many cows left. Okay, I suppose... Hey, stop that. Suppose I could melt some of the stuff I shouldn't be melting. Hmm... If I had more books, I could melt that. I really don't want to melt any of these. What's up here? Oh, more of that stuff. Well, I'll leave it there for now. I'm on five. I need three more. I'd almost rather melt the books. I'd almost rather melt the books. How many books does it take to melt? It's probably two, right? It is two. Alright, so I'm gonna get one, two, th I'm gonna get, alright. You gotta do what you gotta do, I melted some books. <laughs> that is kind of crap, but... You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Okay, let's break some of this up here. I need a... I don't know how many I need. I know I need a fair few. A lot more than nine, because that's 18. I need one, two, three, four times eight. Ow! Dag nabbit, that hurt! Ow! 
Let's see. Four. Yeah, and no, I need double that. Yeah, 32. Okay. I don't actually... So, I need 15, because I've already got two. Alright, so 15, that's not bad. Anyway, so, I, I'm... Like I said, I know there's been fewer videos, but it's because I'm trying to, to sort this thing out. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I've also got a lot going on at work right now. It's been really crazy. And I'm also trying to move to the States back to America, which is taking a fair bit of time in trying to figure all that stuff out. Um, so, obviously, it uh, it's a bit harder than, than anticipated. So, it, it means less videos. But the big part of it is I'm trying to sort out what I'm doing. So, that's why we have the new intro. You know, that's why... Um, I've been doing a lot of chains ups. That's why the channel may change again. You, that's why I'm asking your opinion on the intro because I'm trying to make this channel the best it can be. Not just for me, but for you guys. I mean, I want to do this together with you guys, to partner with you guys, to say, hey, let's build something awesome. Let's build something wonderful. Let's build this channel. You guys enjoy it. Other people will enjoy it. The world may enjoy it. Let's do this, you know. Let's do this thing. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build this. So I've got to take time to think and evaluate what I'm doing. I'm also wondering if I should go Minecraft only. I do like, I do like my other games. So that may be that I start another channel where I post all my other gaming videos for other games. I've seen other people do it. It just means that I'm maintaining two separate channels with two separate ideas of content. Sorry, there's a little bug crawling down my screen. So yeah, I mean, it means I'm maintaining two separate sets of content, two separate sets of, but it means that it stays clear. When you come onto this channel, you know exactly what you're gonna see. You're gonna see Minecraft. Um, you're gonna see the Let's Play that I'm currently on and whatever other Let's Plays that I come up with, all Minecraft. So. You know, that's, I think that's a good thing, but it's something to, uh, to know that that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure all this kind of stuff out. How do I, how do I survive as a YouTuber? How do I grow the channel? How do I build something that people, one, want to watch and two, I enjoy? I want to, I want to have the kind of job that I enjoy doing. It doesn't have to pay a lot. Just, I want to have a job that I enjoy. I'm sure that's kind of like everyone's desire to have a job they enjoy. And it's not that I don't enjoy my job, uh, where I currently work. It's just a lot of stress, you know, and a little reward. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Holy crap. That's not what I wanted either. Alright, um, what I mean is I really enjoy playing Minecraft and making YouTube videos. I enjoy all that. Quite a bit. That's why I do it. That's why I do it for, for free right now, because I enjoy it. It is something that I thoroughly enjoy and will hopefully continue to joy, enjoy in the future. But it just takes effort and time to get it done. Oh. Well, that should be right. And I want to make sure I do it right. I want to make sure I'm putting the effort in the areas I need to. I've been spending time watching uh, tips and tricks on how to run your channel and uh, what to do and what not to do and how to grow your channel. So you might see some changes. And if you don't like those changes, let me know. Because obviously I don't want to make changes that people are like, whoa, 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 hold on. You know, you're becoming not something that we like anymore. Because obviously I don't want to do that either. I don't want to change what this channel is and who I am. Well, I do this, but I also want to become effective in what I'm doing. And if something isn't effective and it's costing me a lot of time to do, and I'm not finding any enjoyment or any fruit from that labor, then why am I doing it? You know, if, if, if uh, something causes me grief and it's not easy to do, 
and it doesn't affect the quality of my videos, stuff like that, then it comes to account of, well, why am I doing it then? Like, I moved to 1080p because the quality is great. It adds extra time to what I do things because I can't actually, with DaVinci, I can't work. That's what I'm looking for. With DaVinci, I can't work remotely. With the previous light, um, Lightworks, I could actually work remotely. I could work off my laptop. I could be in the house. I could work on my laptop. I don't have to be out in my garage to uh, work on the video, which is really good because I didn't have to come out here. I could do it elsewhere. I could do it away when I was away on holiday. I could edit videos when I'm away. I don't actually have to be where I am to edit the video. And that was really good for me. What the? Well, I might get some extra spawns. Uh, other than... Nah, surely they won't get... I don't know. That's weird. So, yeah, um, it means I could, I, I could add it elsewhere. So, I made that change without really taking into account... Well, what's that going to mean for the channel? What's that going to mean for me editing the content? It means that I have to do it when I'm home. I can no longer... Oh, yeah, he, he snuck in here. Okay, it's not going to kill him. How did that not work? Ah, oh, because it's blocked up. I like that. That's good. And now it will. Oh well, it's just... Ah. Yeah, so I made that without thinking about how that will affect me being able to put out content. So it means that it's harder for me to put out content, which isn't necessarily better for you guys, because if it's harder for me to put out content, it means I put out less content, because it's <laughs> harder for me to do. It takes more effort for me to do, and it means there's restrictions in when and where I can do it, whereas before there was literally no restrictions of where and when. It was just log into my computer remotely, work on it, and I'm done. I could do it from in bed rather than, rather than having to do it out here. So again, you know, I didn't think about what implications that would have on you guys, because obviously it means I can't put out as much easily. I mean, yeah, I can put out a fair bit, but it's not as easy to put out. Right, let's test this out. Boom, it's working. It is working. Okay, so we've got the capture. We've got the little section here. I'm going to come down here and make it so that it looks... No, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, come on. There. And I want to stop jumping. So I want to add that so I can come down. Open. Not even have to. And now this is going to lead out and away. Because obviously... Where's that? Is this water? No. Okay, so that's good. I think I might have to use... A ladder system. That's what it's looking like to me. Only because not everything can have stairs, unfortunately. It'd be nice if I could do everything with stairs, but I just can't. And I'll just put a latch on top of this, make it look nice, and then I'll know where it is. Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's right here. Oi, 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 oi. You sneaky little boogers. Don't you worry, your time will come. Your time will come. I will, I will come over there and kill you. Actually, I might as well go now. No time like the present. Oi. Fine, go on my face, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna kill you all anyway. Okay. Done? 
done. And then this, of course, comes down here. I don't know if I actually need it to, but I've just kind of done that. Should actually check if I need it to. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make this apparent that this is where I'm located. There we go. Oh, that's cool. It's one, it, uh, one around. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's extra stuff over here. I didn't even realize this was here. This is where everything went. It's like, man, I thought I collected all this stuff, and I don't know where it went. That's where it was just, like, literally right there. And I already had all this stuff over here. So. Do I got more signs? Yay. Okay. Uh, Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> I done screwed up. Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. That's good though. Alright, so this thing I wanted to build with sandstone. I might not. It, it's it's not readily available to me. But I do want to use glass. I do have a fair bit of glass. And I want to use a lot of glass. Can I... Drop that down a little. Will that mess things up? Wow, what did I even need that for? Oh, I th maybe I was going. Uh, maybe I was going to do something. Uh, does this stop me? Nope. It spins me straight into that. Very good. Okay, here we are. All right. So this comes down here. Great. Ooh. Picked it up. And I have chests in here. I've got my first venom sack, which I'm going to stick back in there for now. I will get a fair bit of string. That's something else that they give. A string. Whatever. I come up here, and I'm out. Now I have all this stuff in here, so I can start... I don't really want to start doing that yet. All my glasses in there. Alright, so... I want to be able to be at the same height that they're spawning, so this right here has got to be glass. It just has to be both sides, regardless of if it's an under the ground or what, because I want to be able to see from every level all the way up to the top. And I don't know how big I can build this, but I will find out later, eventually, how big I can build it. So I'll build the glass, and then I'll build the spawn, the spawn parts properly, because I don't want them chasing after me. Uh, I want to build up the glass high enough so they come out. They fall into the ground, fall into the water, get carried away by the stream, and that's that. So, let's start by placing our glass, then. So, this is the level of the glass, because that's the level... Yeah, okay. Means there's a fair bit of cobblestone on this side. I know it's not pretty, it's cobblestone, but, you know... Beggars can't be choosers at this point. I don't. I haven't really spent the time in building nice blocks, so. And it is just a basic build. I can always pretty it up later if I want to, which I probably won't. <laughs> Once you build one of these things, you're kind of like, oh, finally done. All right. So the f level of glass here. Yeah. And I'll leave you there, and then come around this way. So the idea is, it's going to be too thick, and hopefully, plenty of space. To spawn these spiders in. That's the idea. If it doesn't work, that would suck very badly. Oh, come on, go away. No, oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I just placed all of this glass, and it's supposed to be one further over. Check, double check, quadruple check your measurements. I saw that there was something different, but I didn't I didn't check it. 
I did this one extra wide because I knew that there was going to be that space there. I wasted all that glass. Granted, I'm by a desert, so I can always get a whole bunch more. And I will get more because I'm also in the process of changing things at the main base over there. Uh, I'm trying to make my one thing a complete um, moat. So I'm trying to take away all of the sand. So we'll see how that works. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. Again, nothing I could do about it now. It's one of those things that's done is done. And you can't go back and change it. So now they shouldn't be able to get to me. I mean, they might still be able to, but not too bad. I actually don't need that entrance there anymore, either. I do have more. And I have, I have lots of sand, so I'll just make a bunch more. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll finish this out. I'm going to put the layer of... Because here's the thing, I'm going to be keep... I'm going to keep building this, but I could also be getting spawns while I do this. Do you know what I mean? There's no reason why I can't get spawns while I'm doing this. Of course, unless I try to jump when I'm hungry. I need fat. I need fat. Oh boy, okay. That's, yeah, that's the one way that this could uh, go wrong. I'm telling you, these changes of with the hunger have re... I'm not used to it. He's made a few changes to the hunger, mainly with swimming, but I'm guessing some other things have changed as well because I just feel like I'm burning through. It could actually be that chest plate, now that I think about it. It could actually be that chest plate. That could be the reason why I'm burning through hunger. Chest plates use up more energy than non. So that's why it could be burning through energy. Let me know in the comments below if that's right, because I think it is. I'm bur I was burning a bunch of energy when I shouldn't have been. How am I friggin' hungry again? I got out. I got all the way up there. Tried to run again, and it was like, nah, you're hungry. It's like, dang it, come on. Seriously? All right. Let's feed our faces until we're full. I really need to get my, uh, my hunger up there, my fat layers up there, because, man, this is just annoying. All right, so I hope this is the right thickness. If it's not, I've got to rework this whole thing, like I've said. I can always connect with this for now. Thing is, they could be spawn. They could spawn at any moment too. There's nothing that says that they can't spawn right now. I'm not. It's not like you can't be too close for these things to spawn. It's a really interesting spawner because they can spawn on on pads. I believe that are too thick, and they could be spawning right next to me. I hope one doesn't spawn right next to me. I would rather be able to finish building this first before any of them spawn. But now that they're too thick, I think everything is possible. Where'd that guy come from? He must have uh, gotten too close to some lava. Alright. I think that'll do. Made him two for a reason. Alright, so now we can always bring this up another level. And we're going to have lots of glass. Oh, that's weird. Is that the right connected texture? We're about to find out. How does that look? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the right connected texture. Okay, it just looked different. I'm going to take this and this with me to make more glass. I have more cooking, and I need to get more. I also need to clear out a lot more of this jungle, 
basically everywhere the eye can see. Now the cool thing is I do have this section ready, hopefully, to spawn, and I, I don't know the mechanics of spawning, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping that uh, it didn't really matter. It might matter. It might. This might actually not work because of the uh, spawning rules. And I thought I was close enough to have that chunk loaded, but I'm not. Uh, as soon as I get far enough away, that chunk unloads with my spider spawner build in it. Anyway, guys, I'm heading back to base. I need to build up my fat layers. I need to get a bunch more um, glass built so we can have a beautiful, lovely glass area. And I've got to keep building layers up. Keep building them up and up and up and up and hopefully get enough to do trading with and at least do some more invisible runs because now that we have those depleted soul forges in the nether it gives us a reason to go running through the nether like idiots again trying to find more nether fortresses because it's it's a treasure it is a treasure in the nether nether fortresses have a purpose again not just to to find them once and build off of one singular one now we need to run through and find all sorts of them so that we can um, get lots of gold and hopefully sword f uh, soul forges because that means we can't just get a bunch of soul forge steel to create them. It means every single one you make has to be made by finding it. And that is not an easy feat, I'll tell you that much. Not an easy feat indeed. Alright, so I need six venom sacks. How many do I have? Two. It's all right. Hopefully I get more with that. Break down all the leaves in the area, and that makes it easy. He, they can only spawn on leaves, so break down all the leaves, except for the ones in your trap, and that's where they spawn, so long as it's in the right amount of leaves. I don't know how wide it needs to be. I thought 2x2 two two should be enough. They're only 1x1 one one creature, so... Oh, wow. Got 25 emeralds. Should be able to just buy this stuff. Can't need that and that which means I need to get three more of those just say three more of those which means there's another build coming in the works so keep, stay tuned because we're gonna have to have a another nether based mob grinder mainly for wither skulls and it means we're gonna have to ooh we're gonna have to trade with this guy. Actually, yeah, we're going to have to trade with him, so I might as well just put this out here for next episode. So we need to trade with him to get another bit of mycelium so that we can plant mycelium in our nether fortress. Because we're going to need to spend a lot of time building that trap, which is why I need also some invisibility potions. And yeah, so... We'll see how that goes. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Cheers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please do subscribe if, you've, if you're watching my videos. And this is like the fourth or fifth one you've watched. Come on. You know it. You know you enjoy it. You know you like it. So you might as well just hit the sub button. No harm done. You'll know when my new stuff comes out. And plus, I get labeled at your little right-hand side of your screen. And you see my name when all the new videos come in. And sometimes on your recommended screen, I show up there too. So if you've watched more than two of my videos, you should definitely be subscribed. Cheers, guys. Bye.